welcome you all to my channel so for today i'm going to making a simple dress i'm going to making a simple tutorial on how to cut a bat wing dress okay now before i start i'm putting on this top for those of you that love this top that i'm putting on we made this in our previous video on how to cut a circular or a flat top so i'm going to link that down below at the description box for you to watch it and one amazing stuff about this dress is you can wear it in five different ways i have that down below as my description box okay so for today's tutorial we are going to be cutting how to cut a bat wing dress now what are the basic measurements so the basic measurements required is our hip measurements and our gown length. A lot of you be like, what? What about our shoulder measurements? What about the bust measurements? <laughs> but for this dress, basically you need only your hip measurements and your gown length. It makes it so easy. As easy as A, B, and C. But before we move on to today's class, don't forget to give me a thumb up and kindly subscribe to my channel. Like and don't forget to do drop your comments down below so the first thing i have to do is to divide my hip measurements by four as usual so i have 36 divided by four i have nine my gown length plus two inches i have 62 inches so what we have to do now is to fold our fabrics into four um this fabric I love what I love about this fabric is the shapes it has. It has like a you see a, a round shape and it's divided into two like different patterns. I just love the pattern of the fabric. To me, it's cool. So what you have to do, don't forget that the first thing you have to take note of is to fold your fabric into four folds. After folding your fabric into four folds, you have to take your neckline. It's as simple as ABC. You'll be very surprised what happens to the shoulder and what happens to your bust measurements and your hip measurements. So for the wideness of the neckline, I'm going to make use of three and a half inches. Okay, so you could make use of three, three to four inches, except if you want it to be really wide, which I don't think the fitting is going to be very good. So for the deepness of the neckline, I'm going to make use of four inches. So I have three and a half by four inches i think it's okay by me so i'm just going to draw my round curve now don't forget our one inch shoulder slant that was why i didn't cut out this salvage of this material because you know as a designer you have to make sure you don't waste any of your fabric so this salvage of this material is what i'm going to use for the one inch neckline so i'm just going to cut it off now we are going to measure our hip measurements our hip measurement is look at the board please our hip measurement is nine inches plus two inches sewing allowance we have 11 inches so i'm going to mark my 11 inches all the way down if you haven't subscribed yet please kindly do so we have 11 inches all the way down 11 inches all the way down so down to where you have your gown length now what we have to do now is to mark our arm o so my arm o is 10 inches look at where i placed it i placed it on the one inch shoulder slant so i have 10 inches so this is where my 10 inches is please i hope this chalk is actually showing i just hope so let me press it more so you guys could see it better so what i did was i marked my neckline then i took my hip measurements why i made this of my hip measurements is because to me my hip measurements is the largest measurement for those of you that have a bigger bust please take make use of your bust all the way down for those of you that have a bigger waist please make use of your waist all the way down and for those of us that have a bigger hips just make use of your hip all the way down so basically you have to make use of the highest body measurements you have and for me is my hip measurement so now for us to get the bat swing this is the round neckline 
this is the round arm rather so my round arm is about eight inches so divided by two i have four let me just add sewing allowance i have five inches i started from this one inch shoulder slant please let's take note of it so i have five inches so why how did you get how did i get my five inches you just measure your round arm now what you have to do is connect this your arm o to this point let me make use of my ruler so it will be straight you connect it of course it's going to be slant because um our round arm is a little bit smaller so you just connect it the ruler is actually sh um shifting my fabric that was why i had to drop it so i don't end up arranging my fabrics all over again now let me explain what i did the first thing i did was i measured my neckline then i took away my arm one inch for my shoulder slants and because it's a bat wing make it of the highest measurements all the way down to your ground length when you are done you measure your round arm then you draw you connect the lines together now look at this point now look at this point this point try to make it a little bit curve you could just use your hand or your arm or curve. Just make it a little bit curve. Make sure you don't have a sharp joining at this point. And of course, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut. So, so what I have now is this. So what I'm going to do is, what you're going to do is, you M the neckline. After M your neckline, you join the shoulder. And you're going to have something like this. Can you see it? So this is the bat wing. The sleeve is cut together. You're going to have something like this. You, you just end your neckline and you join it all the way down. You join the sides down, down, and you have something like this. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to drop your comment down below at the section box. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Bye.